This is a drawing that I did of Katy Perry. It's not that good. Some people may argue that it is good, but I don't like it. There's a lot of um, a lot of details that did not really show up, or I didn't. I didn't really. I don't know if you can tell, but it just doesn't look like her at all. I don't think. But uh, it's a nice little exercise that I do every once in a while using Conte, Conte um, pencils and stuff like that. But we're not going to focus on that right now. What we're going to focus on is my sketchbook, which is the 2011 sketchbook. So I'm just going to stabilize the camera, and I hopefully this looks good, which it does. So, uh, yeah, here's the drawing, and that's what's going to keep that there. But uh, let's open it up. So as you can see, it has first thing you see is a really cheesy drawing. So let's just move past that. And every once in a while, I like to go nuts and fill the page up with as much crap as possible. But I usually mess around with, um, you know, like characters and stuff like that. But I still do my Conte and stuff like that. Like I still mess around, like make a character do some Conte, you know, and then just like, pff, just fart, fart ideas into uh, my sketchbook, but uh, I like to mess around with that and stuff like that, but this is fun, when I, when I just go crazy and just, pff, just fill it, it's just, just get rid of all that crap, like, you know, that's in my brain, you just let it out. And this was with uh, left hand, <laughs> as you can see. But yeah, it's just like mad scribbles, mad scribbles. But then here now I'm kind of getting into more detailed stuff, you know, just messing around with stuff. Just you gotta, you gotta just draw different stuff. Here's some character design, uh, you know, just. Basically, just like you know, getting a hang of, you know, drawing different types of characters. This is Guile. I don't know. That doesn't look that good. And back there, if you can tell, that's Ryu and Sakura over here. Um, I was trying to make sort of like feral type character. Here's some cars, cartoony style cars. A little Optimus Prime there. Well, not Optimus Prime, but like the Mac truck or whatever, truck, whatever, but yeah. Studying uh, Victor from Darkstalkers, and then there's a nice little cute kitty there, and then uh, I drew a friend there. But uh, yeah, here's some, here's some more Darkstalker characters. I was interested in Darkstalkers for a bit, because I wanted to get into a book and do that, but uh, that didn't really work out. There's some writing I did, sometimes I'll put that to my sketchbook, but you know. And this is a cool thing I like to do, which is basically draw people on the subway or on the street or on the bus while I'm just, you know, just chilling. But again, like it's Again, the sketchbook is full of expressions. I'm going to keep going as far as possible. You can pause the video if you see something you really like. But this is this is all from like late 2010. And I've been drawing a little bit more now. This is getting more recently like now. Like this is probably March when I got back into it. Figured I'd give myself a little challenge and draw a muscly guy, you know. But actually draw the muscles and figure out where the muscles go and such things and stuff like that. And some landscaping. I went outside and pretended I was in another world. You know, doing some other drawings and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, self-portrait. You know. My sketchbook is really messy. A lot of people like to have a, you know, a structured sketchbook with like, you know, like some a lot of cartoonists and stuff like that. They put 
a lot of stuff. I really like this this drawing. I might paint it, but it's, uh, I like it. And but yeah, like again, a lot of people try to put structure and you know like they don't really. To me, it it's it's not about structure. It's about getting your ideas out on paper, and then pushing it because like, like there's all these sketchbooks you gotta you gotta get them out I do like to do this on the computer but um sorry for about the nudity there but uh sometimes you just gotta you gotta draw things from life and then also draw in your sketchbook physically because it's a lot you know, like there's a lot of things that Photoshop can do, but like you know, I don't know. That, there's, I don't want to start a debate really about what's better, Photoshop or Painter or whatever. But it's all about the artist, right? Like it's all about who's drawing and what they do. See, I'm more comfortable drawing in here, right? So this is around recent. This is like the last couple of weeks. Uh, actually, starting probably from way back here like this this thick thing there that's like actually no this is the month of June actually going back starting from here I was like okay I need to just try to draw every day in my sketchbook so this is like the month of June every day I draw in my sketchbook probably more than often it, it, sometimes I'd be like I just draw like a small thing like this over here like an eye or whatever but then I actually got into just drawing every day, every day, going nuts, going nuts, and just like, whatever, so, yeah, we've reached the end, I got so much to go, but, that's about it, um, but I did draw, happened to, I do draw on paper sometimes, this is, was, this is for a friend, I drew it a while ago, but, yeah, this is this is just how it is. This is my this is my life, man. Mr. Sketchbook, <laughs> Andre Sketchbook. <laughs> but yeah, again, like Katy Perry does not look like that. I don't think so. At least.